just getting started. I left at 7.40 this morning, August 2nd, and uh, I'm going to try and block the wind here. Heading straight into uh, 10 kilometer wind. <clears throat> it's an overcast day to start out. The sun is just starting to peak out. <clears throat> the um, solar performance right now is not very good, only about 80 watts. I'm going to tilt the canopy and uh, travel like that till I get to Deseronto. Um, <clears throat> start out slow, maybe uh, seven and a half kilometers an hour, increase that to eight. I want to be careful of my uh, power budget uh, this morning, just because it is overcast. So I, I need to be uh, aware of that. Anyways, uh, first stop, well, Hopefully I won't be stopping until I get to my lock site. So that's about, oh, I'm thinking seven, eight hours from here. Five hours to Belleville, another two hours to Trenton, then up to Trent Severn. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, tilted the canopy and I've added these extra straps on because uh, yesterday or two days ago I should say I didn't have the straps on the canopy was tilted and a boat went by through a big wake and uh, bent, bent my back linear actuator so it still works but it's it has a bend in it now um, so I've added these straps to uh, add, act as uh, guy wires and I could adjust them on the fly if I need <coughs> um, the one guy wire on the starboard side at the front is tight right now so it doesn't need any uh, extra support um, I've tilted the canopy and now it is uh, 5 to 8 in the morning and I've got a hundred and hundred and well it's varying hundred at least a hundred watts on the top one hundred and oh over 100 watts on the bottom one so I am charging I'm gonna run like this till uh, I get to Deseronto this little screenshot here I am uh, going at 7.9 kilometers an hour drawing 780 watts geez I gotta watch where I'm going and I'm power wise I'm producing between 250 to 300 watts uh, so that's why I'm going so slow conserve uh, power and uh, at eight kilometers an hour um, I'll be fine that might increase later as a, as the uh, Sun comes out but uh, you can see how efficient this uh, motor is for just cruising along at uh, you know relatively eight kilometers an hour less than 800 watts So I'm uh, at Deseronto right now and the conditions are getting bad. Headwind is a lot more than nine kilometers an hour that they <laughs> it's supposed to be. It's more like uh, at least 15. Uh, I'm going straight into it. It's cloudy, I'm hardly producing any power, only about a, maybe on the average of about 160 watts. Uh, right now, so I've slowed down uh, So I'm only drawing like 750 watts um, What I'm trying to do is maintain a budget of 600 watts out of the battery at the most Okay, if I follow that uh, trend of thought uh, then uh, I Should be okay for the day. So uh, if I'm drawing like 700 and 80 watts right now and if I'm producing you know 180 watts you know that gives me you know 600 watts drawn out of the battery and uh, so say 10 hours at that rate hopefully it won't be 10 hours but 10 hours at that rate would uh, take me down to 40 percent state of charge at the end of the day which is kind of what I had 
planned, but it's going to be a long day traveling along that. Oh, geez, I just dropped down to 5.7 kilometers an hour. Anyways, really, really slow. And uh, I'll just keep bobbing along. Coming to uh, Big Bay, I'm still in the Narrows, what they call the Narrows, uh, before Big Bay, but the conditions are getting a lot worse. Uh, the waves are becoming uh, big rollers that are coming towards me, and that has slowed me right down to five kilometers an hour, and I'm still drawing like uh, 740 watts producing hardly anything, a couple hundred watts, so I'm, I'm maintaining that uh, deficit budget of uh, five to six hundred watts. But this is going to be a tough go. Uh, I'll just have to hang on and uh, get across Big Bay and then I think it should uh, be better. Enjoyable sight. <laughs> All right, I'm just coming to the uh, largest part of Big Bay, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I can't say too much. <laughs> it's just been insane. Oh well. wind a little. Well, there's uh, Sandy Cove where I was a couple weeks ago, my friends. Uh, took me a lot longer today. It is now, it's now 1.12. I left at uh, 7.40 this morning. So, um, over five hours to get here. Uh, anyways, I'm going to be pulling into Myers Pier. It's a, a harbor in uh, Belleville and uh, meet up with uh, a person that wants to interview me. So I'm not sure how far I'm going to get tonight. I might have to do uh, pay for a transient dock um, in Belleville because it's still pretty brutal out here. Well, here I am docked for the night, and it's still early, pretty early, well it's 4.30 now. Um, I got here at 2 o'clock. This is at Myers Pier in Belleville. That's as far as I got today. The winds were brutal, 20 to 40 kilometers an hour. Headwinds, uh, white caps, going right into the white caps. I was, I was just being slammed every time I went over one. So it was not nice. Uh, so I'm going to hunker down here for the night, have something to eat, and get an early start tomorrow morning. The weather for tomorrow is supposed to be good, so uh, <laughs> give it another shot. <laughs> 